Um, so my dad was born um, on the Navajo reservation in a place called Greasewood. His mother is a uh, full-blooded Navajo and his uh, father was Hopi. My father, he is a wonderful man. He, um, him and my mom, they've raised six of us children and they've always been such good examples to us. And one thing I, I didn't realize about my father um, until I came to work for him was what an impact he has had on so many different families, so many different other fathers um, and mothers of teaching the importance of what it means to be a good father. I feel personally that it's a real honor and privilege to be a father. One of the most important things, there's a lot of things a father can do, but I think one of them is that the man really has to not only communicate but interact with his family. But I want him to interact and communicate with his wife, the mother of his children, because that's probably one of the best things you can bring to your home is when the father and mother really get along together as husband and wife. My father was always around. He was always um, encouraging, always very loving. And the love that he had for my mother was always very positive. Um, and watching my mother and father through their 50 years of marriage, you know, kind of having that be my schooling of what it is to have a happy family. One thing about my father is that I do remember as a kid, he always, when he would get upset with us or after us or chastise us for something we didn't do that was right, he always immediately came and apologized for his reaction if he overreacted or um, but always came in and talked to us afterwards he never let it just be where he w got upset with us he always came in talked to us afterwards he always told us he loved us um, and told us how special we were I remember when I was younger I went and served um, served as a missionary for my church and before I left um, He told me to love the people you serve. You must truly love the people you serve is the number one thing that we feel. And love what you do or love what you bring to the people you serve. That's what distinguishes a good mother and a father. A good mother, for an example, loves being a mother. She loves t working with her children. A, she, doesn't, she doesn't like everything about it. Like when the kids make a mess, she has to clean it up. Well, but she loves being a mother. That's what makes a good mother. That's what makes a good father. They love what they do. He's definitely a better grandfather than he was a dad. He loves his grandkids and he spoils them. Um, he, he, he loves to talk with them and tease them and um, visit with them. He, when our, our kids are sick, he makes a special effort to him and my mom to come out and see us. They always come when they can to watch the kids' soccer or choir concerts or, you know, they're, they. They love their grandchildren, probably more than their kids, but <laughs> they, they do love being grandparents. And so that's great. I love seeing him interact with my kids that way. And I'm a father of six children. I have 16 grandchildren, and I would trade anything for those kids, not my kids or my grandkids. So like I said, it's, it's an honor and a privilege, but also it's a lot of work, sacrifice, but it's very rewarding. He's thoughtful, and he's kind, and he, um, I, I know he loves us. I know he loves me, so that's what's important to me. We say fatherhood is leadership. What kind of leadership is it? It's the most important kind of leadership you will ever do in your life. 